Hey everybody, Suzanne Perry here, founder of Love Shouldn't Hurt TV. This is October, which is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and each day I've been here presenting some videos, hopefully giving you some insight and valuable information regarding domestic violence. Today we have a question. It comes from a gentleman, and it says, My girlfriend flipped the other day and punched me. I'm trying to understand, accept it, and get over it. Honestly, she made me mad, and I need help, counseling, or advice to deal. What would you suggest to this person? Do you think that this gentleman should stay with the significant other who got mad and punched him? Well, I would say, if your girlfriend got angry enough to punch you, then she clearly has lack of control. She's got some anger issues going on. You know, everybody gets mad, but it's how you manage your feelings that impact your relationships. Getting mad never is a license to hurt somebody, ever. It's not a, it's not a license to be mean and certainly not to touch somebody else in an aggressive manner. Once your significant other gets angry enough to strike you, you're never going to get over it. The next, what happens the next time they get mad? It's going to get worse. They're going to add to it. And it's going to just keep on stacking. It's going to stack aggression upon aggression. It's going to escalate and it's going to get worse. And then all of a sudden, oops, somebody accidentally has a broken tooth or a broken arm or a black eye. Because this is aggression just compiling. So you're never going to actually get over it. And you're never going to be able to deal. This was not your doing. And again, there's nothing that anybody ever does that warrants cruel behavior. And certainly not physical violence. Loving couples don't hurt each other. And then blame losing it because they were angry. They use angry as a crutch. And really... The case is, they can't control their emotions. And the next time, most likely, will get worse. So you need to rethink this relationship. Let's go to the core of it and think about what it really is. You know, if you think this is love, what is it that you love? And is it really love? If your partner is treating you in a manner that if you weren't comfortable being that way to anybody else, it's wrong. And you need to rethink that. That is not healthy. And it's not what love looks like. Send in your questions at info at loveshouldn'thurt.tv. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow.